Disconnect the dryer from the wall outlet before proceeding. Remove the lint filter. You could cover this hole with a piece of rag to prevent anything from falling into the blower housing. And remove these two screws. Stick a flat screwdriver between the top and front panels like this and pry it out. Put your fingers in between the top and front panel to hold it in, then do the other side. Now you could open the top and lean it against the wall. Grab the belt and push it all the way to the back. Use the corner of a potty knife like this to disconnect the door switch. To be able to remove the front panel, you need to remove these two screws. Go ahead and remove the screw on the left. Then the screw on the right. Be careful with the sharp edges on the front panel. Hold the drum with your left hand. With your right hand, pull the panel forward. Disengage the panel from the holding clips on the bottom. And take it right out. Now you can finish removing the belt from around the drum. Grab the drum, lift it to disengage it from the rollers. And take it right out. Remove the belt and the idle pulley. Now you could check and replace the drum support rollers. Most people don't realize that the rollers need to be replaced until they're in bad shape like this. And the dryer sounds like it's running on a flat tire. To replace the bad drum rollers, the first thing you need to remove is this triangle of plastic piece. Using a small screwdriver will make the job easier. Remove the bad drum roller. If the plastic triangular piece on the back is good, I just reuse it. I won't replace it. If it is worn out, what I do is I take a small screwdriver and stretch it out. Then I'll remove it. I use a wire brush and I clean the shaft real good. Then I wipe it out. Next, I install the first triangular piece using a small screwdriver to help me out. This one is a little bit harder because you have to push it to the next groove. This piece will stop the roller from sliding too far in. Set the roller in place and install the other triangular piece. Just push it in until it snaps in place. This is the way that the roller is supposed to be rolling. You replace this roller in the same manner you did the other one. The only difference is that you need to remove this bracket. And when you're done replacing the roller, you will need to put the bracket back on. That's the only difference. Now all you have to do is put the dryer back together. Before you install the drum, Take a wire brush and clean this track real good. The two drum support rollers are going to ride underneath of the drum on the groove. Grab the drum and set it in place. 
make sure that the two drum support rollers are riding underneath of the drum on the groove. Let me show you a little trick to hold the drum in place while you work. Align the screws on a baffle with this hole. Measure from this hole to this screw. It should be about 8 inches. Take a piece of coat hanger wire, make a hook on one end, and bend the other end at 90 degrees. Unscrew this baffle screw about a quarter of an inch out. Connect the coat hanger wire between the screw and the back panel like this. The coat hanger wire will hold the drum in place so you could install the belt, the idle pulley, the front panel, etc. Place the belt around the drum. Make sure you place the belt around the drum like this, with the flat surface to the outside. If you have it this way, then you have it the wrong way. Make sure that the ridges or grooves on the belt are facing the drum, okay? Place the idle pulley in these two grooves, then hold it with your right hand. Place the belt on top of the idle pulley like this and push it through with your finger. Grab the belt with your right hand, push the idle pulley with your left hand and place the belt around the motor pulley. Place the idle pulley on the two grooves and hold it with your right hand. Put the belt on top of the roller and push it through with your finger. Grab it with your right hand and with your left hand push the pulley and place the belt around the motor pulley like this. When you install the front panel, first you have to hook it on the bottom hooks like this. Go ahead and hook the front panel on the bottom hooks like this. Make sure that when you push in the front panel, the drum is going to ride on top of this felt, like this. Screw in the two front panel holding screws, the one on the left and the one on the right. Remove the coat hanger wire and tighten the baffle screw. Connect the door switch to the wire harness. Check the rear drum seal. If it's not in place like this, stick a flat screwdriver between the seal and the back panel. Turn the drum around clockwise a couple times until you have pulled the seal out and the seal is sealing properly. Lower the top panel, set it in place and tap on it to lock it up in place. Secure the lint filter housing with the two screws Remove the rag and put the filter in place. That was a way to take the dryer apart and replace the drum support rollers. For the best place to buy replacement parts online, visit Repair Clinic. Repair Clinic will give you 365 days to decide if you want to keep the part or not. If you don't want to keep it, you could return it for a full refund or for a replacement of the part. You could check for the links to Repair Clinic on my website.